Well, hopefully, well, whatever the next building is we're going to do is going to go on this side, and then we're going to keep pushing this direction after that. So, I mean, we can always move these later if we have to. They're not perfectly lined up, but it's just really hard to do that, you know, to get them perfectly lined up, especially when the train's not even. So we're going to call that good and not worry about it. At some point, you got to tell your perfectionism to fuck off, you know? Welcome back, everybody, to the Planet Crafter. I am the Bearded OG, and in this episode, uh, we are going to do or, or take steps rather to increase our pressure. I want to get to the tier two ore extractors as soon as possible, so we can put those in the caves for the high-level ores like the osmium, um, so we have you know a, a renewable uh, source of that. Um, so uh, the way we're going to do that is we're going to put down some more uh, T4 drills, but we're also going to launch some um, iridium rockets because those are the ones that also give us pressure which we haven't actually done yet I'd also uh, like to launch another uh, seed or moss rocket too uh, whatever those rockets are so yeah that's what we're gonna do and then if we have uh, some time we'll go out and do some exploring as well in fact we, we actually are probably gonna have to go do that first because I'm out of osmium we have to go get some there's still some more you know left over in some of the caves um, so let's go out and take a look-see at the, uh, what we need to launch those rockets and we'll continue harvesting our bark here and building that up. There we go. Okay. Um, so that's these. So we need three silicon and two supers per rocket and... I'd also like to try this. I mean, we should try both of these out at some point too, but these rockets don't actually do anything for our terraforming index. So we'll, we can mess with those later. Um, the plants rocket increases moss spread. Um, that requires a tree bark and a fertilizer. Okay, well here, let's, uh, let's do a couple of these for now since we're focusing on pressure at the moment. So we're basically going to need four supers and six silicons and two rocket engines. Okay. I have two rocket engines left. Um, and then after that, we'll have to start making them when we need them. But they're not too, uh, too hard to make. They, uh, they do require uranium, though. So I guess I shouldn't be burning all of my uranium up into making rods. Uh, now that we have to start making the rockets ourselves. I think I said I needed six silicon. Do I have any in the overflow? I have two in that overflow. And then we'll grab a few more from here. So that gives us six. And then for supers, these this is the overflow. Grab four of those. And that should be enough for two iridium rockets. The other thing that I'm going to do too is I'm going to um, I'm not going to go gather the iridium right away. I'm going to give the debris a little bit of time to clear. So that way, you know, um, it'll be easier for us to do. And the other thing I might do is as soon as we launch the rocket, I might run out that way a little bit because the meteors kind of follow the player. And I don't like it when they, especially when they land on the mountain, because it's kind of a pain in the butt to go up there and get them. So, yeah. Um, let's go ahead and build the first one. And let's see if we can knock it over. I'm not sure even what it's doing. Oh, shit! Oh, we did, <laughs> we did throw it off course, but it... Uh, it, it looked like it started to take us up in the air and then broke our leg. Okay, well, that was an unsafe situation, wasn't it? So, yeah, let's just kind of come out here and let the meteorites land in the general vicinity where it will be a lot easier to, to gather everything. 
And what I'll do is I'll wait for this storm to... Well, it's still landed on the damn mountain. Oh, well. Uh, we'll wait for this storm to finish, and then we'll go launch the second rocket. And then let, let the meteorites come for those, too. That is pretty cool how those come down like that. And again, you know, I don't really need the iridium at this point. I'm doing this for the pressure bonus. Okay, so it looks like that's it for those. Let's do the second rocket now. And uh, we should go in and heal up too. Let's wait a second. Now let's see if we can bump it off course. <laughs> yeah, we, <laughs> we totally bumped it off course. And it's just so funny that we can do that. You know, it's the little... Oh, what's it doing now? <laughs> it's the little things. That one's hit the damn mountain anyways. Son of a... I don't know, maybe this is not actually... Well, I, I think for the most part, it, it is drawing them more over in this direction, but obviously not in every single case, so. We'll most likely have to put uh, this iridium in an overflow, but we've got plenty of them, so that's what they're there for. All right, so we just increased our pressure. Uh, oh. The debris already gone? Well, maybe this was the first batch. By 2,000%. Um, but multiplied by, by 20, basically. Yeah, cool. So, yeah, some of the, some of the, the debris already gone on some of these. Hmm. I thought uh, it laughed, stuck around a little bit longer than that, or maybe it, it's different for the iridium as opposed to the uranium ones, because the uranium ones seem to stick around for about 10 minutes or so, it seems like. All right. Um, how are we looking here? Yeah, we got room. Okay, let's go. Some of them hit down out this way, so... I do you have an O2 bottle? Yeah, I got two. Okay. Never leave home without it. I haven't really been down in this area a whole lot. There might be like a golden chest or something hidden down here. So the debris hasn't cleared for this one yet. But we'll grab them anyway, since we can get to them. All right, guys. Well, I think what I'm going to do here is cut the camera and uh, collect all of this iridium. When I'm done with that, I'll bring you back and we will go get ourselves some osmium. I just noticed that the waterfall is making sound. It wasn't making sound yesterday. That is really odd. I mean, that's what it should be doing, but it wasn't doing it yesterday. Huh. All right, guys. Um, I got all the iridium picked up, so we have like over two full chests of it. Uh, I think I'm gonna do go ahead and do a plants rocket as well. Um, so we're gonna need two supers, a bark a Lerma and a fertilizer and the rocket engine. Okay, there's the bark. There's the Lerma. Two fertilizers are going to be four eggplant, two sulfur. 
two, three, four, and six algae. Two, three, four, five, six. And we needed two supers. And then the rocket engine we're going to have to build. So we need two uraniums, an iridium rod, and another super. Uh, uh, iridium rod, I think, right? Two uraniums. And I think that's everything. Okay. All right, let's go do it. So this one's uh, this one's not gonna drop meteorites. I guess it's just gonna drop. Let's see if we can bump it at the bottom there. Yeah, we didn't really bump it much. <laughs> I think it's just gonna drop um, moss all over the place. So it attracts a moss storm. Yep. These little moss spores. Interesting. Okay, so we have uh, significantly added to our pressure and our O2. This is now at 56% there. Um, and... Pressure de is definitely moving, and we'll get it moving more when we can go get some osmium to put the drills down. We're doing good on power. Gas extractor is the next thing that's going to unlock. I don't know. I don't, I'm not exactly sure what that does because unless that's flower spreader. Automatically extracts gas from the ground, but for building pressure, I guess, I don't know. Unless gas is also some kind of a resource that we need to use at some point. Guess we'll find out when the time comes, eh? Uh, oh, did I make, I made too much fertilizer. All right, well, we'll put it to use. We'll just stick that in there. Let's grab an extra bean to take with us for food. And we have two waters and two O2s. And I think we're good to go. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go grab um, as much osmium as we can out of the cave that's basically straight ahead of us uh, and then kind of crosses over into the starting zone. And we'll stop off at our lakeside base too because uh, I want to harvest the food over there and keep that building up. And we'll just see how much osmium we can grab. Uh, we, we need six per drill. I'd like to be able to grab 12 for the drill. Um, yeah, that's cobalt. And then maybe have a couple extra too, you know, for other things. I think I've picked up all the osmium in this biome, but it's possible that I haven't, so we should probably just kind of do a quick flyby. Oh, or even, if we can, get up high. Because that can... Well, except for... Oh, get this stupid dust storm coming in. That's not helping. All right, well, here. We'll check that later. Let's go hit the cave. The osmium and the cobalt look very similar, except for the osmium has um, kind of a twinkle to it. Oh, there's a couple more of these. Uh, let's just leave those there, though. We don't need those right now. But it's good to know that they're still there. That there's still more of them, I should say. All right, so this is the cave here. And, okay, yeah, there's some osmium there. I think if we follow it down there, it'll go out at the starter, uh, close to the starting area, but let's go back this way first and make sure we've harvested all the osmium that's available. 
course, we're not going to touch the iridium. We don't need any of that. I've been up on this shelf before, I believe, to see if there's a chest or something. This would this would be a place they would hide a golden chest for sure. You would think, anyway. Okay, so I think that's all the Oz that's back this way. And then if we go down through here, we have more. Plus, we have a chest there, too. And we have some sulfur in here as well. What's in here? Um, let's take that. Just gonna drink it now to save space. I think I'm gonna leave the rest of that stuff in there. None of that, that none of that stuff is stuff we need immediately. Um, I'm probably gonna leave the sulfur in here too, because we we actually have sulfur mining up in our other extractor. All right, so. Oh, here we go. That one was kind of buried. Too bad we couldn't mine these things, but it doesn't let you do it. At least not with our this drill. Maybe they they'd come up with a a better hand drill for stuff like that. All right, so I guess that's it for osmium. Um, how many did we get? That's that's ten. Uh, that's not even enough for two drills. Damn it. Um, I don't think, I can't think off the top of my head where the, oh, actually, you know what? I think there's a cave. What's in here? Oh, nice. Okay, we'll take all of that. I think there's a cave over by the Stargate that, um, that might have some osmium in it. We, we should go investigate that. Let's also check these two. Oh, good. The uranium rod. Nice. I thought the, those only had chips in them. Microchips. Let's eat that. Let's leave that stuff. Um, well, you know what we could do? We could take this stuff over to the lakeside base and just store it there. Of course, uh... Yeah, let's take the Shanga and the iron, and we'll just leave that there. I don't know if there's a way to get into this thing here. Uh, if we even can at all. We can get on top of it, but... Yeah, it just doesn't seem like there's any way to get inside of there. Alright. Yeah, so we'll go over by that Stargate after we drop some stuff off at our lakeside base and see if we can find some more osmium over there. <coughs> um, this ship here has some crates in the back, too. I was telling you guys, I think that maybe in the last episode, every time I come through here, I'm always loaded up with stuff, so I never have room to loot any of this. Alright, let's definitely take this. Um, and we might just eat that to top off. There's a cloth. Another chip. Okay, um, drop the iron. Take the chip. Normally I would take the super alloy, but as you all know, we are not hurting for super alloy. Even so, though, I mean, it's still more valuable than that, right? So... I think we'll leave the rest of that in there, and at some point, I'll come back and grab this, hopefully. Okay. Let's get over to our shack here. Um, in fact, we could just leave some of this stuff here. I think I'm going to leave it all here, except for the uranium rod. None of that stuff we need, and we'll take we'll take the blue uh, the microchips with us too. Okay, um, I think I want to make another O2 bottle though. Let's 
put those two guys in there. And I want to empty this just so we can keep it going. We have room for five more. Yep, just enough. Just enough. And of course I can make more chests as needed. All right, so um, here, let's go back in here. I'm pretty sure that there is, there's no osmium in the caves that are to the west. There was, but I think I got it all. Yeah, all right, so let's go, let's go uh, over to the Stargate then and uh, check that cave out over there. I think the Stargate's this way. Yeah. We got to go investigate that area too. I know I keep saying that, but that'll probably be next episode. I was kind of hoping to get to it in this episode, but we're not going to have time. Everything's turning green. Well, not everything. Some areas continue to stay deserty. There's probably a bunch of circuit boards we could pull out of there at some point. That's not a priority right at the moment. Let's top off our O2. Okay. Oh, um... A couple of you guys have told me in the comments that this satellite that's down here in this basin is actually lootable. It's a container. Let's see what's in it. Oh my goodness, that's some good stuff. All right, we're going to take the uranium rods. And, oh, there's an Oz right there. Cool. That's really good stuff. Um, let's take all of it. But I'm going to drop some of it off in my chest up. Uh, yeah, my chest over here. Because we need to leave room for more osmium. Yeah, that's really good stuff. I think that cave is over there, but let's go over here first. And drop this stuff off. We just got a little chest here. Okay, the aluminum we can drop off. The food, let's just eat it now to top off. Or, I mean, to, well, to top off and save some space. The iridium is low priority. And believe it or not, so is the super alloy at this point. And maybe we'll even just put the microchips in here for now because last time I tried them, I still can't. You know, I still have to meet some threshold uh, for them to work. So, this was the place that had the uh, the bunker. Um, there may be some servers down there we could get circuit boards from, but again, not a high priority right now. Okay, so here's this cave. This was all frozen up the last time we were down here. Yeah, and I already see Osmium in it, which is great. Okay, we'll leave the sulfur. Uh, we don't need a Pulsar Quartz right now, so we'll leave that for the time being as well. But it's good to know that there are more of those down here. It's really dark in here, man. And we got a blue chest and another Oz. Okay, let's see what's in here. Uh, Alright, let's leave that in there.
So that's just, okay, so that circles around. It's really hard to see in here. Alright, I tell you what, since the pulsar crystals are super rare, let's just grab those. None of that stuff we it's critical that we get right now. We use the sulfur a lot, but again, we're we're mining that with an automated monitor now, so even though it is kind of a pain in the butt to go get it, just because it's so far away, but not a big deal. This one here. We're about ready to run out of water and O2. And actually, because of that, we just freed up two more spots. Um well let's uh let's grab sulfur then. So I'm constantly making fertilizer and stuff now and explosives, and we need sulfur for both of those things. Okay, so there's a little more sulfur left in here, and there is that chest all the way at the back. But it does not look like this cave goes any further than as far as we took it there, so... Alrighty. So we've picked up enough osmium to make two more tier four drills. Let's go. Orbital informations. Interesting, okay. This stuff will all leave here for now. Um. Actually, though, I'd rather take the microchips back and leave the sulfur. Nah, it doesn't matter. We'll, we'll just... Well, yeah, maybe I better. <laughs> I know I'm, like, all indecisive here. Indecisive. Undecisive? Indecisive? Grab those. I suppose I should probably put a big chest in here, but I hardly ever use this place anymore. They don't usually come this way. Let's move. Let's motivate. I want to get up high and do a quick scan of this uh, this aluminum silver biome place. I wonder if that new rocket that we can launch will tell us what the names of these places are. There's a blue chest down there. Oh, you know what, though? This isn't the biome that had the osmium in it anyway. That's worth grabbing, and these are too. Shit. Okay, uh, let's eat the beans. Let's grab the multiplier fuse and I want those two guys as well so we're gonna put a sulfur in there and drink this water I guess okay let's go we have no spare water on us now so we can't dilly dally we'll be fine as long as we don't dilly dally Another blue chest. Oh, geez. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I'm just gonna. I gotta leave it. I do. I I don't want to give up uranium for microchips that we can't even use at the moment. The thing is, is I just don't want to forget that they're there. Um, just trying to see if we have any sparkling osmium left in this... Oh, we do. There's one right there. I have no freaking room. 
Uh, here. This is against the rules, but we're going to do it anyway. Okay, now we really got to get back. <laughs> oh, there's another one. No, that's a that's a cobalt. Okay. There's still probably could be a, a few more in this biome, you know. It's just it's really hard to get everything. Yeah, we want to keep that O2 topped off until we can get back to get bottles. Yeah, I know. I'm breaking the rules. Don't tell anybody. What was that that I said in the very first episode about no exceptions? <laughs> well, yeah, so much for that, eh? I wouldn't have done that if we were a long ways away from the base, but, you know, since we are pretty close to the base. That's why I decided to make an exception, even though I said no exceptions. Alrighty, so, um, let's... Let's put the microchip... Well, let's actually see if we can do microchips. Nope. Okay, we'll put those back in there then. Uh, let's do a save also. We are 73%. Wow, we really, we've really climbed up. Uh, pressure is at 55 MPA. When it gets to 100, we'll get this gas extractor. All right, um, put the pulsars in here. Let's put the uranium in here. That's enough for another power generator. We'll put the fuse in miscellaneous. Oxygen multiplier fuse. And we need a total of 12 osmium to make two more thingies. Two more tier 4 drills. So that is 12 right there. Cool. What do we need? What else do we need? Uh, oh, yeah, we just need super alloys. We've got lots of those. So we're going to need a total of 12. Oh, wait a minute. No, 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 no. We only needed three of those. Oh wow. Okay, so we could make we could make four more of those drills. The thing is though is power. But we can make another generator too. Okay, those use 54. So 54 times 4 is 216. Oh, we got it. Okay, we can do it. We can make four of these. Really get that pressure going. Okay, so that means we're going to need 24 supers. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. We can only do 20 at the moment. So we'll have to come back and get the rest. We just got to figure out now where we're going to put four ginormous tier four drills. <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, we got room, actually. We got plenty of room. It's just, it's kind of too bad there. It's going a little cockeyed there, but I can't really do much about that. Um, because I fully expect our base to probably come all the way back here, you know, by the time it's all said and done. So I want to keep this flat area available for that. We have a tier five heater, which I'm guessing is going to be quite a bit bigger than these. So this is our heater area. We want to keep that open. So this is where the drills are going to go. Right, wrong, or indifferent, eh? Okay, so let's put another one over this way. Those guys don't even seem like they're properly lined up. Uh, yeah, not really. Okay, well, here, let's do this then. Let's... Uh, see, the question, though, is are we properly lined up? Let's try and line it up as close as possible to the far drill. And we'll bring it back. And then we'll realign this one. 
Well, I mean, even assuming though, if I put east right at the very top of my screen, that's pretty close to lined up. It's just, you know, cockeyed because of the terrain. Why aren't you... Oh, that was weird. Okay. So again, we'll try and get east right in the center of our screen. And we'll put that there. It's too close to this one. Try it again. As always, it doesn't have to be perfect, but I don't want it to be an eyesore either, you know? That's pretty good. I don't bother trying to get the legs to go a certain direction because they just do whatever the hell they want to. All right, let's do the next drill here. Make sure we're facing north and that that's lined up with that. And we'll pull it back to about here. Okay, we gotta go get some O2. And since we gotta run in here anyways, let's get the rest of the materials. Yeah, this ought to seriously fast track the, the pressure now. We needed some more um, super, I believe, right? Uh, we've got 10. Yeah, we need, wait. Yeah, we need one, just one more, I think. Right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, we'll, we'll try to get this as lined up as we can. Pretty damn close, man. Close enough. Okay. Get pointed towards the east here. Back up to about there. All right. Well, hopefully... Well, whatever the next building is we're going to do is going to go on this side, and then we're going to keep pushing this direction after that so I mean we can always move these later if we have to they're not perfectly lined up but it's just really hard to do that you know to get them perfectly lined up especially when the trains not even so we're gonna call that good and not worry about it at some point you got to tell your perfectionism to fuck off you know you can't be a perfectionist all of the time Okay. And yes, I've been running around continuing to, to break the cardinal rule for, you know, what, about 10 minutes now? There ought to be a law, man. Okay, so let's uh, let's take a look-see up here. Pressure's like really cranking now. Um, What if we do, what if we even do another rocket? Is that just like batshit crazy? <laughs> <laughs> I might not even bother picking up the iridium, you know, it's like, I don't remember what we need for it. Okay, we need two supers, three silicons, and a rocket. Two supers, we're going to need actually three supers to make the rocket. Uh, three silicon. And the rocket itself, which I think needs two uraniums. An iridium rod. Now I am aware of the diminishing returns of these, but from what I read on the wiki, they were saying that if you keep the number of rockets that you launch comparable to the number of you know, drills that you put down, you know, then it you get maximum return. We just put four more of those drills down. And we've only launched two of those rockets. So theoretically, we, uh, we, we have a total of six tier four drills, and that doesn't even count, you know, the stuff before that. 
So theoretically, after this rocket, we still should be able to do three more without having really bad diminishing returns. But I might be wrong about that. It's, you know, when it starts getting into that kind of math, it just gets, hurts my head a little bit because I'm not very good at math. I'm good at a lot of things, but not math. Okay, here we go. Nope. <laughs> I, maybe I'm, I must be jumping maybe too soon. I think we need to get those up in the air. Let them get up in the air a little more before I try and push them. I'll probably pick up the iridium. I hate to waste it, you know what I mean? I mean, if nothing else, I could make a shit ton of rods, right? We mostly use it in rod form. So. Alright, guys. Well, I think we're going to wrap up this episode here. So I'm just going to wait for the... Meteorites to, to finish coming in, and um, that, uh, yeah, that was nice. And uh, in the next episode, I fully expect us to have enough pressure uh, to do our Tier 2 ore extractors. At least that's the plan. We'll see what happens, because um, we've massively boosted our pressure in this episode. Uh, so with that being said, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.